What's going on there folks? Good evening. It is Earthmaster here checking in on this Wednesday, December 16th, 2020 is the date. 7.52 p.m. West Coast time here with the latest quake on the globe, a 2.5 striking out there in Nevada. No doubt a lot of earthquake activity taking place out there in Nevada over the last couple days or so. Uptick in activity all across the globe for the most part following that, uh, well, that large earthquake over there around the uh, western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire there, 6.1 quake there. Uh, still seeing a little lapse of movement up here south of Japan into the uh, area south here. Not a whole lot of movement. Uh, still kind of quiet there. We've been looking at uh, very quiet activity over the last couple weeks or so within this region, aside from Taiwan. But uh, it's still uh, definitely uh, pretty quiet. But overall, global earthquake activity on the increase, it looks like, uh, in the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Also up here to the north as well into the Aleutian Islands area where we've seen a 5-pointer and uh, 5.3 there earlier, way earlier today. 3.4 out there in Texas striking the uh, western areas there. Also down there in Peru region 5.6 earthquake striking that region as well. Little swarming going on out there around the Puerto Rico area. Of course, this is obviously uh, uh, continued earthquake activity that we've seen for quite some time there in that region. Um, just it's just it's very common. This is pretty much earthquake country out here in the uh, Puerto Rico area. Uh, checking out the uh, flat scale map here from the USGS. Shows the uh, earthquakes up there along the Aleutian Trench area. And also down here into the, uh, just south of the Philippines there where that six-pointer struck, uh, well, yesterday or so. But overall, no major mega quakes to report at the moment. Uh, it's just, you know, it's been a while since we've seen some major movement. But uh, no doubt it will definitely pop up here, I'm sure. Checking out the western part of the North American plate here. We'll drop down to the all magnitudes to get a better view of what's going on there. There's that 3.4 out there in the Texas area, right around Midland, Texas. Uh, 3.4 at 4 kilometers below the surface. Zooming into northern or southern California right there. Small little earthquake way off the coast there, off the coast of Los Angeles, San Diego area. 2.5 striking the Pacific Ocean out there. 9.7 kilometers below surface. No major swarming to report. No major uptick in activity around the Ridgecrest area. Mammoth Lake still seeing a little swarm of activity up here. Uh, just to the east of the region. You can see that large cu cluster of quakes there. Um, kind of just outside of the ring of the Long Valley Super Volcano area. Uh, but nonetheless, still some earthquake activity. Kind of monitoring that region. Re Nevada is the hot spot no doubt uh, no major quakes and actually moderate earthquake activity has calmed down since uh, yesterday northern california pretty quiet out there not a whole lot of movement out there along the cascadia or the mendocino triple point junction area just a small little 2.4 out there near ferndale off the coast there of eureka california into the pacific northwest there mount rainier showing some activity there couple earthquakes stacked up on each other there as we zoom in you can see roughly about six earthquakes there well below two pointer well 1.8 being the largest earthquake there within that region this is kind of an uptick in activity uh, over the last 24 hours kind of monitoring that region as well the depth of these earthquakes roughly uh oh about 1.5 1.8 kilometers below the surface uh, but still at uh, normal background levels there for uh, that volcano little explosion up there around the granite uh, what is that granite falls area in uh, washington and uh seattle seeing a little aftershock of activity there following that earthquake uh yesterday i believe it was a three-pointer that struck there along the seattle fault this region right here very uh a very serious fault and a very serious uh, threat for seattle's future 
Uh, I think they have to worry about this fault more than they do about the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, Idaho kind of calming down there. Not a whole lot of movement there tonight. And uh, Yellowstone National Park looking relatively quiet as well. No swarming, no type of uh, uh, movement really going on there at all at Yellowstone National Park. The trimmer department looking pretty quiet as well with only about 17 epicenters of trimmer along the Cascadia subduction zone. And that's kind of just right up there around the Seattle area where we're seeing that, uh, like I said, where we've seen that three-pointer and a couple of small aftershocks there along the uh, Seattle fault system there. This is trimmer movement way downstream there along the Cascadia subduction zone, but overall pretty quiet today. Uh, what else we got going on here, folks? Uh, let's see, not a whole lot to report in the space weather department. The conjunction is coming up, of course. A lot of folks heard about it there on December 21st. Jupiter and Saturn, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be up there in the sky. If you've got a clear sky, that'd be great to... Uh, to see that sunspots pose a slight threat for a C class flares there from a couple small sunspots there on the sun, but uh, no major movement to report there along the surface of the sun. Pretty quiet, but I'm sure that will ramp up pretty, uh, pretty quickly. As we head into solar maximum here over the next couple years, um, what else? I think that's about it, folks. Not a whole lot uh, going on or to report out there. Just kind of hanging out and uh, waiting for some rain to come in. We got a pretty good sized system coming in off the coast of, uh, of the Pacific here. We'll check out this, uh, see if this one pops up here real quick. Uh, looks like it does. All right. Yeah, you guys can see that low pressure system there. Kind of sitting off the coast. This large area there, and we're here in Northern California, and we're expecting some rain tonight. Not a whole lot, but uh, nonetheless, every little bit helps, and uh, I'm kind of staying up for that. Should should start raining here in my area right around, uh, ooh, I don't know, about 9 o'clock or so in about an hour. Anyway, have a good, uh, have a good night, folks. Uh, we are out of here. going to jump back over here to the live stream and uh, kind of monitor that. In the meantime, peace out. Check out that 4.6 out there in the, in the Fiji area. That's pretty deep. 575 kilometers there, but uh, th overall that major deep movement that we've seen uh, over the past few days has calmed down. I mean, that was pretty wicked and wild for a little while. We've seen a large cluster of uh, deep movement. And of course, that's when that six-pointer popped up there, just south of the Philippines area. I kind of was expecting a little bit larger of a quake and a little bit more northward, but we're still monitoring this area uh, in between this movement here for some potential larger quake activity. Just uh, all too quiet within that vicinity over the last couple weeks. Alright guys, have a good night. We will chat at you guys another time. Stay safe out there everyone.